Yo, what is poppin' folks? Welcome to another video. First of all, thank you guys so much for clicking on this one. Do not skip yet because I got something for you guys. Well, anyways, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. There is a little notification bell right next to that. Be sure to press that as well. If you guys have been enjoying the content lately, be sure to like the video. But without further ado, we have a giveaway for you guys today. And one of these lures in the giveaway I'm kind of jealous about, you know, I, I want to give away this tackle because I'm going to be honest with you guys, I got way too much stuff. Like I got... I got way too much tackle. You guys support the heck out of me. I know a lot of you guys, you know, don't have much tackle. So I'm like, I want to give some away. And that's why I've been giving so much away. And I, I just had too much tackle. So well, I'm saving the best for last. You guys haven't seen it yet. So these are the giveaway items for this video. We got a little crankbait right here that I found in the box downstairs. Brand spanking new little old shad looking crankbait. All right, that's that's the first lure. Then we got us a little jig, at least a swim jig. And then lastly, this is the lure that I'm really jealous about. I I'm gonna make a video on this. If you guys wanna see a video on this, let me know in the comment section below. But look at this, this is a Savage Gear bat. Topwater bat. This thing is freaking sweet. <laughs> it's called the 3D bat by Savage Gear. And uh, I if you guys want me to make a video on that, leave a comment below, let me know. Um, Cause I'm so down to make this video. Um, but anyways, if you guys wanna win this gear, all you have to do, like the video, be subscribed to the channel and also hit the post notification bell which is right next to the subscribe button that is a requirement so be sure to do that and then leave a comment below on a video that you guys want me to do all right over some lure that's just it can be crazy it can be wild it can be a simple lure what type of video do you guys want to see over a specific lure like you guys want like say i wanted to go take out this bat and go film a video on that leave a comment below on what lure that you guys want me to go take out on the water and challenge myself to catch some fish and film a video about so that's about it you guys do those three steps you guys are entered to the giveaway thank you guys so much for the support we're gonna hop into this video hope you guys enjoy it and uh let's get it popping so if you guys saw the last video if you guys haven't already i'm, I'm gonna link it below but i said that we're gonna go to walmart and we're gonna go to the fishing section and we're gonna buy the biggest fishing worm that they have. You guys have been asking for this video for quite some time now. So I'm finally deciding, you know what? We need to make it. We need to try to fish with like a 10 to 15 inch worm. I don't know what they're gonna have here. We're gonna buy the biggest one that they got. We're gonna give it a try, hopefully catch some fish. And uh, that's the main goal today. It's actually about to start raining really hard. So I'm hoping that we're not gonna get rained out on this. But uh, all right, we made it to the fishing section. Let's see what they got for a big worm. All right, so let's see. You got these culprit eight inch worms right here, seven inch power baits. Okay, that's not big. Come on, they don't have any. I remember at my Walmart back home, they had like a 15 inch worm or something just insane. Do they not have that here? I'd be really sad if they don't, honestly. Well, boys, mm, I hate this. I really thought, I'm telling you, at the Walmart that I had back home, there was a huge worm. I'm talking like, it was like grape flavored or something. I'm sure, I'm sure you guys have probably seen it if you came to Walmart, but they don't have it here. I'm kind of mad about that. They have an eight inch worm. That's probably what we're gonna have to go with. I was, I'm telling you, I was wanting to fish with like a 15 inch worm, but I guess we're just gonna be fishing with, no, it's standard old eight inch worm, curly tail worm. We're gonna get a few of these culprit ones. That's what we're gonna roll with. Um, first color I'm gonna get is obviously, this is simple June bug color. And then we're gonna go with this red bug one or red shad. So we got a red shad worm, then we got a June bug worm. These are both in the eight inch curly tail worms. That is what we're gonna have to go with. Man, I hate that. I'm telling you, I saw like a 15 inch worm at my Walmart. I really wanted to do this video too. I really wanted to fish with like a huge one. Maybe we're gonna have to save that for another video then, but we're gonna be fishing with big worms today either way. Um, but we'll save like the 10, 15 incher for another video, I guess. But uh, now let's get some hooks and weights. Some little bullet weights. Then some old EWG hooks. Grab a few chatter baits while we're here. So I know we're gonna need these. So it's starting to get a little rainy. I'm, I'm a little worried. I'm hoping it's gonna hold off. And if it does rain, hopefully it's super light. This is my problem. I don't mind fishing in the rain, but the thing is, is that I'm filming, you know, I have my camera equipment. That That's the thing that holds me back. But we got the goods and we're gonna be trying to catch some big bass today on some big worms and that's the deal. If you guys are new to the channel, I'm Noah, host of Kicking the Bass TV. Be sure to click that subscribe button and notification bell right next to it. If you guys have been enjoying the content, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, hit that like button as well. But we're about to get out here. We're gonna hop on the road, hopefully go catch some big bass.
many thoughts on my mind I can't sleep at night so I just keep writing I don't need no help, I don't need opinions So don't waste my time then I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine Local radio stations, I got more plays than all of these rappers combined I'm going, I'm going again, I've been going in I'm fed up with so many things, I gotta just let it all out I'm talking about Alright, just made it out to the pond I am going to say it's getting a tad bit rainy, it's starting to rain uh, I'm going to try my best to get the footage that we need So supposedly, that's the 8 inch worm that we're using today I don't know, it says it's seven and a half, eight inches But I don't know. So I started digging in my car and I found these magnum trick worms. These are some huge ones. So, but since I bought those, we're going to catch some fish on those as well. And then, you know, try the big magnum trick worms. I'm hoping it's not going to rain more than it is now because how it is now, it's just sprinkling, you know, we can get along with it. Um, I also brought a chatterbait out here with me as well. We're going to catch some on that. We're going to experiment a little bit, you know, we're going to see if we can catch some big fish, but let's go ahead and get in the water before it starts raining too hard. Alrighty people, we're getting this worm out here we're going to give it a try. Let's see see what we can do let's throw it right on the edge of this grass Ooh, i got some mud on my rod i i can't remember the last time i've slowed down to catch fish i'm going to be honest with you guys and i and i know that you guys have been watching my videos for a while now so you guys know as well i, I mean, it's been a minute since i've sat here and thrown a worm or i mean i did catch some on a jig in in one of the last episodes but rather than that it's been a while since i've sat back and tied on a worm or anything slow moving it's just been a while. I've been catching them so good and trying to catch big. Oh, I was landing on one's head. There. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's got it. God, he's got it. Oh, holy crap. Holy crap. Holy cow. That was awesome. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh man. Look at that. Right away, guys. Look at that. A good fish on the worm. Heck yeah. He was chasing out. I told you guys I landed on his head, and then he started just darting off at me and that is a solid two and a half pound fish oh look at that skinny guy but heck we caught one already that is a good sign let's get him back in the water and continue all right old jimbo thank you for biting buddy you're our first fish of the video say hey to the camera all these people gonna be wanting your autograph there he goes heck yeah let's get back out there baby holy smokes people that did not take long to hook a fish on this worm as I was saying, it's been a long time since I've thrown. That that was my point of, of me talking there. Holy cow. You gotta love you gotta love fishing, eh? We're just gonna let it sit there. Maybe we'll catch one. But uh yeah, it's, it's been such a long time since I've had to slow down. And, and the reason being is because I've been really trying to catch a lot of big fish and it's and it's happened, you know. And in the last like probably 30 videos on the channel, I mean we've been catching some big fish. It, it's just been outstanding lately. Way we've been catching them i thought one tagged me but it's just god it's been insane it is gonna feel good to get a little worm bite going and it feel that little tick when they bite it rather than a fish loading up on a moving bait that's gonna be some fun today please don't rain any harder than this we have some fish to catch no more rain than what's happening now or i'm gonna have to put up the camera All right, let's get moving. It is raining. I'm not liking that for the camera purposes, but let's get down, get on down here. I am going to rig up my chatterbait real quick before we start running. Just a little Reaction Innovations Big Dipper. What I usually run with on my chatterbaits. I usually run with a little dipper, but I have big dippers, and I know there's some big fish, so that's what's going to roll with with another with our other rod. I am going to grab our old worms. We're going to need those. Lastly, grab this rod. That was amazing. That's probably the best thing I've ever seen. Let's just let's just get our bait stuck on a tree, Noah, and backlash. You guys are wondering what I'm throwing. I'm throwing a little culprit. Supposedly seven and a half inch. I don't know about that, but <laughs> that's what the package says, you know. A big worm. I mean, it's a decent sized worm. It ain't bad. But we're uh, we're Texas rigging this thing. It's a simple old Texas rig. I got it pegged at the end and not really having that hook exposed, tucking it in the bait like that. Simple as can be. Let's try this chatter bait for a minute now. Let's see if we can catch one. Get down that side of the bank, see if there's some fish on that grass line. I want you guys to know that it's so hard for me to sit here and slow down while it's sitting here raining 
And I know that these fish are munching. It's so hard for me to pick up a worm and say, okay, I'm gonna throw a worm while these fish are munching. Uh, that, that doesn't really sound that, that amusing to me. So I am gonna be chugging this chatterbait around. I'm gonna warn you guys, um, we're gonna be doing that some today. Uh, Cause I know we can catch some big fish on this chatterbait. And a chatterbait is just so fun to throw. And you know, I wanna show you guys some fish. There he is. Oh man. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> Sucks to lose a four pounder like that. Let's get back out there. Man, lost me a four pounder on a chatterbait. That's why we throw that chatterbait. I was just sitting here walking back to my rod and he's picked it up. I knew how he bit it. That was a big one. When you lose a four pounder here in Florida, you just cast right back in, try to hook another one. Holy cow, you see that? I wish I had a buzz bait right now. I'd be tearing them up. There he is. Oh man, oh man, it's a good one. He choked that chatterbait in the back of his throat. Holy crap. Look at that. Look at that in the back of his throat. God, you wanted that thing, didn't you, buddy? God, look at that fish. We are getting rained on right now, but we still catching good ones. How can you beat that? All right, look at that fish. God, that's a good one. That was a good bass right there. There we go. Let's get back in there. Put down that worm for a second, picked up this chatterbait. I'm telling you with this rain, I just feel like there's gonna be munching, munching, and not trying to really eat a... Look at that, next cast. Look at that, another good one. Yep. Now you guys understand why I'm not hesitating to throw that another two and a half pounder. I mean, look at this. This is just happening right now. Look at that fish. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, nice cast. Oh my gosh, I didn't even move it. This is a big one. Oh my gosh, holy crap, holy go. Oh! Holy crap, man. He just messed up my whole trailer, too. He knocked my thing. I only got one more. Oh. Guys, I was like a five pounder. Did you guys see that? I was literally like a five pounder. He slammed it right when I threw in there. I didn't even, literally, I clicked my reel and popped it once, and he was just already on. He started taking off right when I started fighting him. He was just, God, he was whistling my rod. That was a big one. Holy cow, holy cow, please don't come off, baby. Please don't come off. Please don't come off, please don't come off. Let's go. You ain't coming off, boy. <sighs> holy crap. <laughs> we lost a few of you today already, man. Let's get him back in water. I'm gonna gently toss him. Greasy boy. Oh, don't do anything, man. I will kick the living out of you, man. <laughs> that, <laughs> holy crap. That was a greasy boy right there. All right, we're switching back to the worm, the old squirming worm. We gonna catch one in this corner on it. There he is. Oh man, yes. Are you not fat? Little skinny boy. Little deflated tummy boy. Heck yeah, well we got him on the big worm. Pretty little bass. Skinny, but you know, he's still a pretty bass. Nothing wrong with him. Now that rain is starting to come down. Pretty good. We're gonna throw this worm back in here though. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to stay. This rain being how it is.
Oh my god. Yep. Holy cow. Holy crap. Yes. Yes. God, he ticked the heck out of that worm. Look at that. Holy cow, guys. We are smoking them. I hate to leave. This rain is just bothering me. I'm going to stay out here as long as I can, as long as my camera equipment don't get too wet. God, look at that fish. It's a pretty one. Let me walk him down as far as I can. Get you as close to the water as I can, buddy. All right. Here he is. Beautiful little fish. Pretty guy. Look at him go. Well, we are figuring him out on this worm now. Now we're starting to get those bites. I'm working it very, very slow. I can tell you that. Letting it sit there. He ticked the heck out of it. He, I actually he bit it. Right where I caught that last one on the worm was right where I just cast it right there. That's exactly where he bit it. There might be something that they're stacked on. Working it really slow. Yeah, I feel a little bit of something down there. I got another one. He's running with me. I didn't even feel him bite. He picked it up. I got to put another worm on. This is deep right here. It's like a little hole. Compared to everything else out here, this is like a little deep hole that's on the pond. And they're just stacking down in this. This is definitely the deepest part. Literally like a little hole right here. And then when you go out, that's how one slapped me. When you go out there, it gets really shallow. There you go. This is a painful game to, st I have no idea what that was. Oh, there he is. Godly. Oh man, that's a good one. They're all good. What the heck, man? Look at that, right on top of the mouth. God, you tear me up, buddy. Right on the top of the mouth every single time. That's so good. What I was gonna say is, heck, I don't even know what I was gonna say. <laughs> but that one's actually got them a little thick tummy on them. That's a, that's a good quality little fish right there. God, we're just whacking them right here in this corner. I'm telling you, they're stacked. They are stacked. See you, buddy. Whoa. There he goes. Golly. That's a big one. Oh, that's a big one. I choked it. He ain't quite that just because how skinny he is, but golly, man. I mean, look at all these are quality fish. Just look how skinny. <laughs> that is so sweet, though. Look at that bass on the chatterbait. Woo! There he goes. Everybody's saying that I can get down. On, I want, for some reason, the GoPro makes it look like a freaking like I'm so close to the water. But I, I still got like another three and a half foot until I. <laughs> for some reason, on the GoPro, it makes it look like I'm right at the bank. And I'm not like purposely like, oh yeah, let me just toss a fish in the water from up here. Being lazy, like I, I literally, that's as close as I can get to the water. There he is. There we go. Been a minute. Been a minute. He choked that thing, look at that. That's what blows my mind. He won't have a bite for a minute. Then when one eats it, he, I mean, look at that. He was jamming that thing in the back of his throat. <laughs> that is so awesome. These fish, I swear, that is great. Little baby, little baby guy. I'd say about a pound and a half. Smallest one today, just about. I am going to be announcing the three giveaway winners from the other giveaways. I'm going to announce them on my community tab. I feel like it's just a little bit easier and a little bit more organized. We don't have to waste time in the video, so that's what we're going to do. So be sure to just keep your eyes out on the community tab. I'm going to be announcing three winners for specific baits. And all you guys have to do is message me on my Instagram if you guys won this, this, and that. And then I will get on with that. But uh, let's get on with the video. That is going to conclude it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we got these giveaway items right here. We got the bat. The old crankbait and then the old jig. If you guys want to win these, um, skip to the front of the video. I have the steps to enter. But if you guys are new to the channel, I'm Noah, host of Kicking the Bass TV. Um, be sure to hit that subscribe button. There's a little notification bell right next to that. Be sure to hit that as well. And also, if you guys have been enjoying the content recently, be sure to like the video. Um, but thank you guys so much for the support. All the support lately has been amazing. Um, everybody, like, truly 
really means a lot everybody who's watching the videos commenting on them and just all in all like supporting me and what i'm doing it just it really means the world i feel like a lot of people on this platform don't like i'm not gonna say respect but you know say thank you to you guys for everything that you do because i know as simple as you guys watching the videos but it, it sounds crazy but when a video does good or if i see a lot of people are enjoying a video it really just brightens my day and it really means a lot but Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. All the support means the world, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Beat it up, beat it up. Keep it up, keep it up. They gon' try you, they can't stop you. Eat it up, eat it up.